You may be a singer who's discovered that you have vocal fold nodules. You may have gone to an ENT doctor who's diagnosed that for you. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how a singer's voice can recover from vocal nodules. Very often the singer knows something's not quite right with their voice because it starts to get a little hoarse and very often the top notes are missing or there are gaps in the range. One of the things that's often prescribed for singers with nodules is voice rest. Now voice rest can play an important part, especially in the initial stages. However, constant voice rest is not a long-term solution. What really helps a singer's voice recover is vocal rehabilitation with a vocal rehabilitation expert. Very often, that's a speech and language therapist that's specialized in voice. Sometimes it can be a singing teacher that's specialized in voice rehabilitation. One of the things to also consider is whether the spoken voice is hoarse. Very often it is. So a voice expert speech and language therapist will also work on remediating a spoken voice. The first goal is really to reduce the vocal fold swellings. Vocal nodules are bilateral, which means there's one on each vocal cord. So we work to reduce that swelling over time. And as the vocal nodules get smaller, the voice gets less hoarse. So voice rehab and reducing the vocal fold swellings, making the voice more comfortable is always the first goal of therapy. And the second goal should really be about establishing more ability and stamina and developing the voice back to strength and increasing vocal range. So the third stage will always be to develop safer voice projection, both in spoken voice, but of course for singers in singing voice. So some singing styles demand louder voicing or belting or higher chest voice singing and also higher notes. And all of those are really dependent on not having vocal fold nodules. If you've seen an ENT doctor and they've diagnosed you with vocal fold nodules, the first thing they will do is refer you to a voice specialist speech and language therapist. Because nodules are treated with therapy nowadays, not with surgery, unless in severe cases where perhaps they are very long standing and very hard. But the main course is through therapy. It does take a little patience and somebody who knows how to work with that condition and support somebody through the process of therapy. But you can regain vocal health and sometimes very often increase vocal ability just because you've transcended any type of vocal fold swelling. I hope this video has given you some helpful information. If you've liked this video, then give the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.